Hello, Stats class. This is a question from your 4.6 homework. This is question number 14. So what we're doing here is we're trying to find the probability of winning this jackpot. So we got, think about the Powerball. You got the um, container and it's got 45 balls in here, okay? And then you got another container where the Powerball is going to be and it's got 54 balls in there. Okay, so we are coming up with the probability that we win this jackpot. And what's going to happen is this has got a little shoot on it or whatever, and it's going to roll down here, and the balls are going to come out. Okay, same thing with the blue one. It's going to come out, and there will be our, our power ball, or whatever you want to call it. So these first balls that come out, I have to have all three of these first ones, all right, three numbers between 1 and 45, and then I have to have the power ball. So this first ball that comes out, it comes up the chute and it rolls down here. There's the first one. I have to have that one, okay? What's the chances I have that one? Well, these tickets, when you get a... Um, a lottery ticket. You don't have to have it in order, so you just have to have the numbers. So you had to pick three numbers here. So this number right here, you had three chances to have the first one right out of the 45 that are in there. All right? Times, okay, because you have to have them all right, we're, we're saying and. So the first one's right, and the second, and the third, and the power ball. So every time we're saying and, it means multiply. Now the second ball comes out the probability I have this one right and this one right, this one's already out. So there's not 45 balls left anymore. There's 44 balls left. And since I already had this one right, I don't have three to choose from anymore. I only have two to choose from anymore. All right? And then the third ball comes out. The probability that I have it right, and there's now two balls out. So there's only 43 balls remaining. I have this one right. So there's only one way that I can have this last one right. There's a 1 in 43 chance that I have that last one correct. All right, and then when the Powerball comes through, there's 54 of those guys. And I only have that one shot, assuming I only bought one ticket, I only have that one shot to get it right. So this is the probability that I have all the first three balls right, and this is the probability that I have the Powerball Multiplying it all together is the probability that I have all four correct. All right, and then we just start reducing. This will reduce to, there's a common three, so 1 and 15. This will reduce to 1 and 22. And notice all our numerators now are just 1. So our overall probability, we just multiply straight across the top and we get a 1. And then we multiply straight across the bottom and we get 766,000. Um, six two sixty seven sixty six two sixty. All right, and so there's our probability. The probability it tells us to write a simplified fraction. So fraction one on the top, seven sixty six two sixty on the bottom. All right. So create a fraction for each. Now there is a, another way that you could do this. Um. Because assuming that you are uh, winning the jackpot and you're, you're, you're just buying this one ticket, all right, uh, you, can, you can also do this with uh, Excel. So when the order doesn't matter, we use combinations. And when order does matter, we use permutations. So on this one, we, like we said, the order does not matter. That's why I have a, there's a, th a three up here instead of a one. Um, when the, when the ball's coming out. So I don't have to have it in a particular order. So that's a combination problem. So I could write equals and start writing combination on Excel and then this first one, com combine, combine, whatever you want to say it, turns a number of combinations. So I'm going to click, double click that. You can also just type it all the way out. Uh, open parentheses, there's 45 numbers that we are choosing from. So that's the 45 that we're choosing from. And then you type in comma, and then the number chosen is the 3. 
how many we're picking from those 45, or picking three numbers out of 45. All right, so this is the red stuff, okay? This is coming out of the red. And then we multiply times, we also have to have the blue stuff, okay, or the blue ball. So the blue ball, same thing, com combinations. We're only picking one, so technically you can just multiply by 54. But uh, combinations, there's 54 balls that we're choosing from. All right, and we're picking one, correct, single number, so just one. All right, and then there's that number there, that denominator also. So you could do it that way as well. So 45 choose 3, 54 choose 1, and multiply those together, and that'll also give you the denominator. What this is, is the total number of um, drawings that are possible. This is the total number of selections that can be made, and you're picking one of those. You're picking one of those combinations. Now, if you bought multiple tickets and all the tickets were different, then that would be your numerator, how many different tickets you bought. But assuming you only buy one ticket, then it's one out of this number that you get when you multiply these two combinations.